At home in northern Afghanistan, 19-year-old Khushi draws a self-portrait, a figure in a burqa inside a cage. She studied law and political science at Balkh province's main university until the Taliban banned women from higher education last year. Now Khushi, identified by her last name due to safety concerns, draws to alleviate her depression. When I realised I'm not mentally well, I got sad. My family got sad as well. I was not happy at all. I was always depressed. I felt like a bird stuck in a cage, one that's lost all her happiness. The Taliban closed universities to women in December 2022, sparking rare public protests. That followed the closure of most girls' high schools. Encouraged by her family, Khushi started seeing a psychiatrist twice a month. He prescribed art therapy, which Khushi attends six days a week. The psychiatrist, unidentified for his security, said since the Taliban took over, he sees 10 or 15 patients a day, up from four or five, and most of them are women. The increase became even more noticeable after the Taliban barred women from universities. Since the Islamic Emirates started ruling the country, they have imposed so many restrictions on women. They ban them from universities, amusement parks, beauty salons and so on. They have left nothing for women. Art studios are the only avenue we have left to help our patients. Art studios have become the only place where girls can clear their minds, catch up with old friends and make new friends. And apart from that, they can learn art too. Many women in the class were sent by mental health experts. The Taliban say they respect women's rights in line with their interpretation of Islamic law and Afghan culture. But many women, particularly in urban areas, who gained opportunities in education and work during the 20-year presence of foreign troops and a Western-backed government, are now struggling, Afghan women and mental health experts say. Khushi says the art therapy gives her hope. Because of this bad situation, I'm a bit disappointed in my life. But I'm not giving up. I will fight. I hope things will get better in the future.